Today we're looking at my Casio calculator. Uh, this is my high school calculator. I recently found it in a box of stuff. It's been in that box for at least five or six years. And I tried to turn it on and due to there not being enough light in the room, it refused to turn on. So, opening it up, we see it's the Casio FX-300MS. I purchased this I'm going to say back in 2005 at the, that's about the time I started ninth grade, I think, <laughs> uh, for algebra class, uh, around $10, and had it throughout high school and a decent chunk of college, so I, I decided we'll see if we can get this to work. Now, it does work when there's enough light, um, but any shadow and you lose everything. So, I decided we're going to replace the battery in here. The first thing I did was I hit YouTube and um, tried to find a battery replacement video on the FX300MS. And I found it on a couple of other Casio calculators, but not this one. So, I decided I'm going to make a YouTube video of this while I actually do it. Now, flipping the calculator over and sliding this in to protect the LCD screen, we see six screws. And they're just Phillips head after removing them, which takes about a minute. Back pops open pretty simply. This was the battery that was in here. The GPA 76. Now, after digging through my used battery collection, I went to my watch battery collection which I gathered after Radio Shack had their big closeout sale. Um, I almost went with this battery, which was the closest in size and the same voltage. It was a little bit smaller though. Then I managed to find an exact copy, the 76. So, just pop that in. the backing back on. Now I'm only going to put one screw in here just so I can flip it over real quick. All right and if we notice I'm covering the LC the um, solar panel and the LCD is not turning off at all so it's working fine now. Now this little battery doesn't have a manufacturer's date on it, I don't think. But, yeah, they don't last 10 years. Thanks for watching.